Today, I'm going to show you how to replace your left jack on an AirPods Max. So, first thing you do, get yourself a P5 bit. And what I like to do is remove the headphones from the headband. Just makes it easier to work on. You can see the bit that I use looks kind of like a SIM card tray remover and if you do have one of those which most people do you can use that press down in here and then just pull directly out to get your left cup isolated now I have a p5 bit here and I'm just going to screw the screw slightly in each direction You can see that I only turn them about half an inch either way. I will be grabbing a pry tool. I will be coming in kind of sideways, pushing until the pry tool is wedged. Now I will pry up. This adhesive is very strong. Some of the newer AirPods Maxes that came from Apple are very tight like this. So with the new ones from Apple, I do like to have two pry tools to use. But if you don't, you're going to just have to finesse your way on either side of the cup. Okay, you can see this is bent, so I'm just going to flatten it out make it more stiff. Okay, now this is a little bit straighter. I'm gonna go ahead and give this another try. I think I will grab a flathead for this since that would be the next most available tool for most people. So with this flathead, I'm gonna try to use it as extra leverage. I'm also gonna use my fingers here. Once I have enough room for my four fingers, I'm just gonna pry like this. You can see that was very difficult. You gotta love the new AirPods Max adhesive. Very strong. And before, AirPods Maxes used to only have tape around this outer ring. And then they started adding them right here, this new section of tape around the speaker, which makes it like 15 times more difficult. I think they just don't want people repairing there units anymore and I will warn you guys you will probably scratch up and scuff this part of your AirPods Maxes unless you are a professional or you put some tape right here which I do recommend for you guys to put some tape right here if you don't want to scratch this up or scuff it because it can be very easy to do that put a T4 bit on and remove the speaker. And I'm going to use a flathead. All I'm doing here is just twisting. Take your speaker out, set it to the side. Now next will be the screws right here on the Bluetooth board. Now I'll be transitioning to a T2 bit, just taking off these brackets. Oh, hey Joe, what are you doing in there? I'm trying to fix my headphones to save some money. That sure is a strange way to save money. Why don't you try switching to our channel partner, Mint Mobile, instead? They have the largest 5G network in the nation. Is that the Breathlands company? No, I mean, it's not minty fresh like that, but they can save you a bunch of money. Their plans start at just $15 a month. How much do you pay? $80. Dude, that's insane. It only takes like 15 minutes to switch over. You could save so much money. You could get yourself a new office. You could fix your headphones up right. Sounds good. I'm going to switch right now. You should switch too. Check out the link in our description. All right. Well, check it out, Joe. Have a good one. Use my flathead. Take off these ribbons. Set that to the side. And then I'm going to use my flathead again and peel this Bluetooth board out. Now I'm going to pry this clip 
which is the headband jack clip that goes into the Bluetooth board. And as you saw, I just went in and used this metal part on the Bluetooth board as leverage and I peeled it to the side. Sometimes you're gonna have struggle and it won't be as easy as what you just saw. So I'll just go a little bit on each side until the clip is completely off. Set that to the side. Now we're going to grab this and pull it. So this is the headband jack ribbon and it's clipped in right here into this little section. And I just pull it, pull it out, make it loose. Now we will need a, you can use a T4, but you have a high chance of stripping these screws right here, these four screws that keep the headband jack down. So I just like to use a T5 to play it safe. Now we're gonna start unscrewing these. There's one. There's two. Three. See that ribbon was kinda in the way. So I just pushed it out. And the last one. So now I'm gonna switch my bit again back to the T2. And we have to unscrew these two screws right here. Now I'm just gonna pry up with my finger or you can use a flathead if you want. You don't wanna use much force here, but just pry up enough to the point where you can undo that little ribbon in the back. You can see it's right here. Once that's done, you're gonna put your flathead right here and you're just gonna wiggle it around until you pull it out this way. It becomes loose and now obviously you can take it out and then grab your other good headband jack. Now that you have your good headband jack, you are going to kind of do the same thing where you put this part up against the side of your headband. Jack, I like to use the flat head because my fingers aren't small enough. So I'll press against the side like this and I'll insert into this right here where it goes to that general section. So you can see if you're going to just press it down, that ribbon will get in the way. So again, the key here is you press the ribbon to the side. That way this part of the housing doesn't get in your way. So now I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm gonna line it up. I'm going to push the ribbon to the side, just like that, and then push it in. Then I'm gonna start pushing it down, this ribbon, into its place. I'm trying to move this ribbon out of the way so you guys can see it a little better. But this ribbon is sitting on top and we need it plugged down, down below here. So I'm just gonna twist it and push it down. Okay, now that it's down below, I'm going to clip it in. This part is kind of tricky to show for you guys. You could hear, I just clipped it in. So time to screw these screws back in. Switch out the bit for the T5 and get the big ones on that hold the jack to the housing. Oh, so little dilemma here. You can see that the ribbon underneath right here is kind of getting in the way. So all I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna pull the jack out slightly and then push it back in after getting that ribbon out. Time to screw this back in. Alrighty, now let's plug in the Bluetooth board to the headband jack. So I'm going to align it, not push it in, and then push it in with the flat head, just like that. The reason you do this is because if you push in the headband jack just like this, this metal right here is strong, but the wire isn't. So as you're pushing, the wire bends up or down usually, and it's very easy to break it. 
I've done that before. So you guys don't have to. Now you're just gonna insert the Bluetooth board at an angle. You just stick these wires up. Now I'm just gonna plug these wires in. Ooh, I'm not having an easy time plugging this in. You know what? I'm just gonna line up the screws and then hopefully I'll have an easier time. So let's put the T4 bit on. Which I think it was already on. Nope, that's the T5. So T4 bit on. I'm going to put the shield screw back on on the right side and then T2 bit now I'm gonna try again okay let's put these screws back on oh get this housing on You are wondering it is a lot more difficult to fix these headphones while trying to show you guys everything otherwise I probably wouldn't be having as much trouble but what's the fun in that okay let's get this shield screwed on t4 bit screw this final screw into the bracket for the shield. Get your speaker, place it down, line up the holes. Be sure not to accidentally screw, put a screw, sorry, put a screw into the center of the speaker. Since it is magnetic, Finally, the flathead screw. I like to put the last bit on like this. That way it doesn't get sucked into the speaker. I place it down like this. I use my finger to push it down. And then I just start screwing like this. I'll try to show you guys on camera. Now that's tight, you grab your assembly Place it down, switch out the bit for P5, and now tighten up these screws. And if you notice, I go this way, then this way, then this way, then this way, and then vice versa if you're going to loosen it. With that being said, now you know how to replace your left headband jack on an AirPods Max. Finally, you click it in. You can hear that perfect click. And now your headphones should be working if this was the issue. If you're looking for any of the parts that you saw in this video, they will be on our website, joesge.com. You guys have a good day. Peace out. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you guys love what we do, please support us. You guys can click on the links that we have on the end screen. You guys can buy our parts, sales, or service so we can continue to make great videos for you guys for many more years. Thank you.